Well, hey guys, it's Dr. Drake 63 here again today. In, well, I'm not going to give exact dates, but within the next couple of weeks, we go out west hunting. We're going to go uh, looking for some muleys and whitetails in Montana, and I'm going to go with uh, uh, a couple guys that uh, are related to me, and uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, to having a good time out there. We've each got a couple tags to fill, and uh, we're going to some private land that's uh, wide open and beautiful, so can't tell you how much we're looking forward to that. Um, every year, I always kind of go through my ritual, getting ready. I'm, you know, like I said, a week or so out, and I'm already getting my stuff together. And thought I'd show you some of the things I carry in my hunting tote, and uh, uh, take a look at what we're taking. And maybe you have some things that you can't live without that I don't have, or maybe I've given you some ideas. Either one, but uh, I hope you enjoy it. And there's going to be much more to follow on this hunting trip, uh, Mule Deer, Montana, 2017. Hope you enjoy. Going to take a look into the hunting tote. Someone there would like to go along with me this year on uh, our hunting trip out west, but uh, will not be able to. First thing I need to do is get a couple things out of here. I am in no need for these strange descenting type of things. That's more of a Minnesota woods hunt. So we're starting out with an empty tote. There's nothing in there. And uh, let's start putting some stuff in, and no particular order. Um, the first thing that uh, that we need to do is uh, put some shotgun shells in for pheasant hunting. I have more than enough, but there's other guys in my party, and you never know. Um, for pheasants, I like two and three quarter, and that's uh, always good to go. Some other things. Um, this may or may not seem like a, a essential item to you, but it sure is when you need it. So I'll leave that at that. Paper towels. Always coming in handy. Um, you just always get messy when you're hunting. It doesn't matter what you do. It's always nice to have paper towels along. Some other things I like to bring along, and, and this is, again, probably more than I need, but I've got uh, two rain ponchos. One's a little bit bigger camo job that could uh, help be, be some kind of small portable shelter, too. And then uh, this one, which is uh, the hunting orange. And again, um, haven't had to use that stuff in the past, but if I don't take it, I will. In addition, here's a, a rabbit call for a coyote. Makes the, the sound of a, a rabbit. <laughs> you have no idea what that looked like, but that's going in. Okay, let's get into some other stuff. No, I'm not taking duct tape along. Probably should. You never know, but uh, I have some in the car already. I always bring along all these field dressing gloves. These are built in over the years, or built up over the years, I should say. Uh, my father-in-law, who we're going along with, always brings along just regular surgical gloves, and those tend to actually not bust open and get your hands all covered in guts anyway, which was the point. See what else we got here. Ooh, this um, eight-inch K bar um, has no application. I just think it's bitching, and uh, we're taking it along in case we need to cut some trees down. Never hurts to have a good knife along. This is my Gerber Gator. It's been my deer cleaning knife for a long time, and um, this. I talk about this in, in one of my videos. It is an excellent, excellent knife. That for about 20 years. Also, good set of game shears. For you guys that do not hunt birds, you may not know much about these or see these. Uh, but these are widely popular for, uh, definitely for cleaning pheasants and bird, cutting through all that 
skin and uh, feathers and all that and can be used too if you have some some issues cutting through a part of a deer of course these always come in handy cutting through that uh cutting through that uh that pelvic bone and cleaning the deer so this is a nice tool as well obviously you've got to have that hunting orange along this is a vest I also have a couple different things I'll bring we'll get a little better look at it there in addition to that for colder weather I've had that for oh gosh five or six years and it's a nice jacket it's the kind you can do layers with which I prefer over uh, a big a big heavy jacket of course need some rifle ammo and this year uh, we're gonna we're gonna try a new rifle for us it's the uh, um, Remington 7600 pump and 308 Winchester so we've got her tuned in about a one MOA group or so with these at a hundred which will serve our purposes fine I like one of these uh, little fanny packs if you're just out doing some walking and uh, you've got your blaze requirement met maybe uh, uh, with a vest and your hat but these come in real handy for carrying shells and a few things uh, when you're going to be out walking about so those are nice and then of course you got to have hats this one right here has been my favorite hunting hat for a long time get a good look at that right there and uh, damn handsome man try to try to restrain yourselves ladies gotta have a backup hat as well and uh, I think I'll throw this one in here this is from Bill's gun shop and range which is a, uh, a local chain of uh, gun stores that have ranges and uh, some good guys there a plug for Bill's gun shop and range Okay, so this year we're going to be a little cramped for space. There's three of us riding out in a truck. We've got six deer tags and an antelope tag, so probably going to be pretty full. So I'm not, I don't have extra room for extra rifles this year. So I'm going to keep it simple. We're going to go out with uh, what I consider my best bird gun. This is a CZ712. It's an auto loader with uh, my little uh, homemade cheek riser whatever you want to call that I don't know if it really serves a purpose it looks kind of cool and I'll probably brand my initials in it or something anyway this is a good 12 gauge shotgun um, uh, a good semi auto loader you can see I've put uh, put that colorful front sight on it which is very helpful for acquisition and uh, I've had success with the pheasants with this one before it does not like three inch shells even though it says it will take them uh, so I stick with two and three quarter which is plenty for pheasant the other dilemma was hey I want to shoot some coyotes and I've got this new gun here what am I gonna do and I just made the decision you know what let's go shoot the 7600 from Remington in 308 it's probably got what I consider my best scope on it which is um, a vortex model uh, it's the vortex diamondback and I really love this scope anyway so um, it's gonna do the trick for both uh, it's got uh, it's got uh, the quick loading feature, which is even faster in a lever action. And uh, it's got a four-shot magazine, so uh, might do good for some varmint eradication. We've been asked by our hosts uh, where we hunt if we might help them get rid of some coyotes. So there you have it. These are going to be the, uh, the two rifles I take. I normally take some kind of a black rifle out for fun shooting and, and uh, doing some longer distance stuff. And... Uh, this year we're just going to keep it basic to this and uh, well I suppose uh, I'll go ahead and take this fellow along too anyway um, looking forward to uh, looking forward to this trip and uh, I think that uh, we're going to enjoy it to round things out kinda um, you see you've got uh, a nice decent pair of binoculars always comes in handy when we're scouting out the horizon and then uh, 
wherever I go with guns, I take this, um, well, range hunting and so forth. And this is just an everything under the sun kind of bit set with some additional tools for sighting in uh, various types of sights. I've got some peep sight apertures and some things like that that I carry with me. So uh, that in a backpack along with the other items I showed you. And uh, I think I'll spare you showing you how many uh, pairs of socks and underwear I pack. Uh, and we could talk about the food menu and really get into it, but it's three guys going on a hunting trip um, and we're going to burn some calories every day and uh, we're going to have a great time. As always, thank you for watching. This is DR Drake 63 signing off.